Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for another word of encouragement. These are weekday videos that we're putting out to help us all to get our eyes and hearts and minds uh, set, locked in, back onto God's words of encouragement in the Bible, as opposed to the, the uh, unstable and tumultuous words uh, that are constantly bombarding us uh, from the world around us. And today we are going to be taking a look at another passage from the E100 Bible reading plan, which I hope that you're keeping up with. And uh, today we will be back in the book of Psalms, the song book of the Bible. Uh, we will be taking a look at a Psalm of David, uh, which he wrote uh, after falling into grievous sin. Uh, this is Psalm 51. And uh, the first uh, approximately half of this Psalm uh, reads like this. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless for your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth and the, in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me, with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, and let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Well, all of us uh, have been in the place of David before, uh, where we have sinned, uh, where we have felt the conviction of the Lord for our transgressions, as David calls them. As a matter of fact, uh, maybe not so poetically, but we have all at one point or another sensed the, the weight of conviction for our sins on us, which David calls the, that, that crushed his bones. Uh, but uh, I would point out perhaps an odd uh, or not so obvious point of encouragement in this psalm, and that is that David turns to the Lord to say, you are the one who crushed my bones. And that is a word of encouragement to us today because if it is God Almighty who crushed our bones because of our sin, Oh, well, then it is also God Almighty, whom we are taught to call Abba, Father. He is gentle and merciful, as David points out in this psalm. Uh, we can go to him and ask for forgiveness and cleanliness, and, and that he would, he would hide his face uh, and blot out our transgressions. He is the only one who is powerful and able, kind and gentle, loving and caring, forgiving and merciful. So it is a good thing that we can lay the responsibility of our sense of conviction, our, our crushed bones within us. We lay that at his feet because he is also the one who is able to heal us and mend us. Oh, do you want to be clean today? Do you want a clean heart? Do you, do you want uh, the, the joy of God's salvation restored to you? Go to him today in prayer. He is waiting and willing to forgive you.